All right, YouTube. Well, there's the intro. You're probably asking yourself, why Why is Gilly uploading this? This shit is corny as hell. <laughs> and you know what, man? You're right. That intro was corny as hell. And I don't give a shit. I don't give a flying fuck. I was going back and forth between what I wanted to do. Like, I got some clips on the new map waterfront where I'm behind dude. Dude is looking the other way and still one shots me with the shotgun. So obviously the net code still needs a lot of work. The directional bunny hops, the dude, I'm telling you, man, the velocity that somebody's I don't know how they do it. All right. I, I guess it's just a, a skill issue like these nerds like to say when you say something they don't agree with about a video game. But the the velocity that they can get, the speed that they can get, it, it's literally like an advanced warfare boost jump. The the speed that they can get in a bunny hop in a direction or how they can stop midair and then just go back to a different direction. It's dude, it is insane. So I was going back and forth. I was like, do I want to use these clips? But then I would like. You know, because that's something you could talk about in the commentary of things that you've noticed. Or do I just grab a couple of clips from a couple gameplays where I just went on a little streak or whatever and, and showed some love to the menu music? Because I actually like the menu music. I think it's way better than the one we had before. I didn't hate the one we had before, but I think this one is better. And I said, shit, man, we just gonna put a little intro together. It's going to be corny as shit. And I don't give a damn. But I want to talk about this season two real quick because you hear it everywhere. X Defiant is dying. X Defiant is dead. X Defiant this. X Defiant that. And, you know, I made it very clear on this channel. I would rather play COD without its bullshit all day, every day over X Defiant. That does not mean I'm saying I hate X Defiant, though. I, I, all you X Defiant fanboys, I mean, I don't agree with you guys how you hate on everybody who says something negative, critical about the game. I think... The, I think y'all are weird, just like the Super COD fanboys. Y'all are weird as fuck. At the end of the day, I want to see both of these games thriving and keeping each other on their toes. I'm looking at this season two and I'm seeing one map and it's a good map. I, I don't, some people might complain that it's too big or whatever. I think it's a good map, man. If I was nitpicking it, I might pinch it a little bit, make it a little bit smaller, but like maybe it could have a tiny little bit better layout so that the pacing is better in the map, but I like the map, man. I think it's a good map, but it's one map see this whole seasonal model where we get one map a month you get one map with the launch of a season i just dude i don't think it works when you were lacking so much content with the base game like if we had a gang of content here when the game initially dropped yeah that model would work it, it, it doesn't work right now it's not going to bring a whole lot of people back it's like all right well we got one map and we got the battle pass a couple guns in there and we got this new faction that we have to grind the hell out of or pay to unlock. All right, let me just put this game down, man, because there's no real reason for me to play. And this is what I've been saying this whole time with my videos, man. Is I'm out here. I'm talking about Call of Duty, the things I don't like in Call of Duty, because I want that shit to change. Do I think I have any influence to make that happen? No, but I'm saying it anyways, because I don't give a shit. And the same with X Defiant, man. I'm saying what I'm saying because I want to see the game succeed. What I'm seeing here it's not enough to bring people back bro like yeah the map is cool it's one map the new faction is cool i got the new faction i tried out his abilities and all that the passive trait is is actually a tight little trait man i like that the ultra with the buzz saws is actually a lot of fun and the grenade launcher is i don't think it's too op i don't think it's too cheese like the only time i've ever gotten an actual one hit kill with it was on a direct impact if you just hit it kind of near them, you just get hit markers with it. So I think that's balanced because that's a, an ability that you generate over time. So we don't need that thing being overpowered. The sentry gun with the high women is a little bit annoying, though. Maybe they could do something with that. But so far, I like the faction. But let's be real. The factions, these abilities are some of what chase people off of this game. Like that spider bot, man. They still haven't done anything with the spider bot. Actually, my first two gameplays on Waterfront... I just, I couldn't even use the gameplays, man. Was, I would get a kill or two. And then a sneaking ass spider bot just creeping around. Didn't hear him or nothing. He's he's face hugging me. So while I'm trying to get that off, I get clapped or I got, it happened to me a couple times. I had the spider bot chase me from one end of the map to the other. And I didn't shoot it because I had a feeling I was around enemies and I didn't have a suppressor on my gun. So I didn't want to shoot it and give away my position. So I run on the outside of the map to the other side of the map and the thing chased me to the other side of the map, bro. So when I finally thought that I was okay, I just turned around and shot it 
and of course I get shot in the back, man. That fucking spider bot, dude. I'm telling you, that shit is annoying as fuck. These dudes out here, they use shit like that, especially the spider bot. They use it as a crutch. They depend on that shit to get some easy kills. The abilities are just, you know, it's something that chases people off the game. And I bring them up in my videos because I don't want to see people chased off the game. Ultimately, it's going to come down to whether or not you were loving this game this whole time or you walked away from this game. If you walked away from this game, I don't know if this season is going to bring you back. And this season really needed to bring you people back. I just, I don't see enough here. It's... It's not a bad game, man. People make this game sound so bad. Like, I prefer the gunplay over there in Call of Duty. I prefer having streaks over there in Call of Duty. I prefer getting rewarded with streaks by doing well. I love that COD formula, man. That's why I've been here since COD 4. You know, I got my beefs with new COD with its matchmaking, its monetization, and everything else. And I make that very clear on this channel. But there's things about COD I really like. And there's things about this game I like too, you know, the gunplay is similar to COD, it doesn't feel as good as COD, but still it's similar enough where you can have some fun with it if you have a whole lot extra here for you to do. There's not that much here, but you got Bomb now. Now Bomb is, I'm happy for all you guys that love Search and Destroy, but Search and Destroy type modes is this Bomb mode. It's an acquired taste. Not everybody likes one life modes. You know, a lot of people just, play, especially playing in arcade arena shooter like this, you just want to jump in, shut your brain off, shoot things. And if you die, so what? You respawn and you're back in the game. You know, not, every, like, not everybody's up for playing a more methodical game mode like Bomb, but I'm glad that you guys got it here. And from what I've seen so far, I played it a little bit because I had no choice at the beginning. It was... It kept throwing me into games in progress on um, Bomb, which I didn't want, but I stayed and played a couple of them. And I mean, it's fine. It's, it's nothing spectacular, but it's it's cool. I'm glad you guys got that mode. And, you know, we got content on the way, but just damn, dude, it, it's, it's taking too long at this point to fix things that should have been fixed before the release of the game. Things that should have been tweaked or changed or whatever, you know, and it's it just... It's unfortunate, man, because I really do want to see this game do well. I'm still going to be here. They got my money again today. I bought some shit. They got my money. You know, I'm trying to support this developer as much as I can anyways. I want to support a developer that's preaching no skill-based matchmaking and what's supposed to be a casual pub. But you got the crazy bunny hop still over here and everything else. Just chase people off the game, man. But it's not all bad over here next to fine. Don't let these people out here that doom and gloom everything. Don't let them tell you that this game is just everything you don't want it to be and it's dead and it's this and that don't listen to these people but that's all i got for this one just my quick thoughts on season two let me know what you guys think in the comment section i hope you enjoyed the video and i will talk to you on the next one Side capturing zone b we're season zone c happy capture zone contested